Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Today we're trying out a scenario that I think was requested a while ago, and I got so sidetracked with all of the Rebel Inc. stuff that we never really got around to it. It is the Necroax Worm, which reminds me a little bit of the Necroa Simeon flu-related scenario we did not that long ago. I think it's even by the same person. You are not a Necroa virus, nor a Nurex Worm. You are the Necroax Worm, controlling infected's brains and then reanimating the dead and controlling the zombies' brains too. Undiscovered for thousands of years, humans have given it the meaning to spread. Can you destroy all of mankind? Gosh, I sure as heck hope so. All right, we're gonna go for Metabolic Jump, Darwinist, Aquastrike, Shumophile, and apparently Dopamine Inhibitor, because even though this has the Nurex Worm appearance, it is a Necrovirus genetic profile. So we're gonna go for that and just create more zombies. What do we wanna call this? Putrid Slayer, that sounds great. I love it. You are the Necroax Worm. Where do you want to start? Well, I think we'll start in Brazil. Why? Because as much as I love starting in Saudi Arabia, a man des just deserves a bit of variety in his life. You know what I mean? All right, so we are the Necrovirus. Yep, but we're also the Nurex Worm. Yep. Let's take a look at transmissions. This looks very Nurex Wormy. We have Concertina Locomotion, Eggs, and of course Genetic Swap, which you only pick up if you need a lot of mutation chance. Generally, the best thing to do is start going for a lot of Concertina Locomotion and then start getting either air or water transmission based on what you're gonna need. And then Eggs will eventually translate into things like birds, rodents, and uh, I think insects as well, or something like that. We'll find out in a little bit. Symptoms, this also looks very Nurex Wormy. Okay, Neural Breach and then the Cerebral Tendrils. I imagine we'll get a few symptoms in and that everything's suddenly going to turn very zombified, but we'll see. And then our standard cold heat and drug resistance. Something interesting to note, um, this appears to be the sort of icon, the, the cross-section that you would expect for the Necroa virus, not for the Neurax worm. Then you'd see a little worm on top of their head. So I'm guessing that the game technically considers this to be a Necroa virus, despite the fact that we're calling it a worm. I think the game thinks it's only that, and we're probably going to toss in something like Trojan Plains effects or something like that, and that's about it. Which means we can expect the zombies and also people to try and fight the zombies and blah, blah, blah. These things are going to happen. Let's go for the Undulatory Locomotion. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I'm going off of memory at this point. Uh, and then probably want to go for water since Brazil is, of course, a very, very wet country. Hello, Amazon. We'll pick that up. And Putrid Slayer begins to spread. I need to turn all these dang pop-ups off. I know it's somewhere in the options menu. I just gotta go find it. I, I, I just I get annoyed having to go and do this all the time. Let's pick up some eggs, and sure enough, we have birds, insects, and rodents exactly as expected. Huzzah! It turns out I actually have some sense of what I'm doing. Is Brazil a good starting location? Not really. Is it the worst? No, also not really. It's all right. We'll go for insects, and anything that helps me boost up my uh, infectivity in Brazil the better. We are, of course, now going to start wanting to go for some extra severity, but we already have a little bit. Cerebral tendrils apparently gives a little bit of lethality. I don't remember that being a thing, but okay. Um, more eggs would be nice, but I think I'm going to go for water level 2, which does take quite a few points, but I really want to get very good at getting on boats. I want to get on a boat and get the heck out of Brazil. All right, so, oh, don't, nope, don't devolve that. Pick that up. If you get eggs, there's some sort of bonus thing you can get together. Of course, going for air and stuff and getting on planes would be nice as well, but the most important thing is just to get out of my starting location, which is what we're doing. Now we'll pick up some air. Boom. All right, now we've got options. Then we're going to go for things like cerebral tendrils. That leads to uh, adrenergic constriction, beta receptor blockers released, dampening anxiety and lessening severity of allergic reactions, or confusion, or frontal mesh. Again, most of this seems normal. However, I don't see these uh, symptoms actually branching further down to the left or to the right, which they normally would. So that tells me that we are going to have something unique happening in just a little bit. Normally for any necrovirus, you want to go for the zombies pretty much as fast as you can. So if I can find them, you sure as heck better believe I'm going to be going for it. Do you want to go for that frontal mesh? Sure. What does that lead to? Uh, occipital mesh. Sure. More lethality. Uh-huh. Immaturity and perceptive jolt. Hmm. Well, none of those are quite what I'm hoping for exactly. Let's go for some eggs that leads to water level three, so we become extremely infective in anything wet, which could be nice, including in some cold countries and stuff. I don't know. Our DNA generation is kind of garbage right now. We're really not getting anywhere. Killing very fast. That's not, no. I mean, yeah, we are killing faster than I think I would have expected, but my lethality stat isn't that bad. It shouldn't be that bad. Let's go for the occipital mesh, and there we go! Cytopathic reanimation, turn the dead into zombellinis. 
That's what we like to see. And then the zombies are going to allow me to start spreading all over the globe. The thing is, the primary benefit of going for something like Nurax Worm is supposed to be Trojan Plains. But if you're doing the Necroa virus, you should already be able to get an ability that lets you move the zombies across the water. So I'm kind of wondering how these even work for each other, but all right. What we got? There's the Trojan Plains. As I said, Autolytic Decay could be good and regenerated after activation. Let's go for some level of Trojan Plains. And then what's this? Anaerobic Resuscitation. Yep, lactic acid buildup is lethal and destroys higher brain processes and personality. More lethality and severity is generally going to be good. We want to start increasing the power of my zombos. Trojan Plains. Um, we don't... Well, where do I want to go? Let me think. We want to go to... Have we got any infection in Europe? Not a lot. Tell you what, we're going to go ahead and move up to... I can't. Why can't I go... Oh, there's an interesting limited range? Wait a minute. What? Hang on. Why can't I go to countries that don't have zombies? That does not seem right. But okay. Yeah, I can only go to countries... Well, some countries I can do... Maybe I can only go to neighboring countries? Interesting. Yeah, it seems like I'm only able to go to just kind of almost directly neighboring countries. Huh. Well, that's unexpected, but okay. Um, so I can't get into Europe proper then. Huh. Well, um, tell you what. We will send Morocco up into, I guess, into Spain and just kind of get that ball a rolling. How very bizarre. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So maybe maybe we'll be able to increase the range or something later. Um, we should continue working on some of the diseases, though. Let's go for some air. Get on some more planes, get some more zombies started in a few places. That's actually going to be very important for me now, since apparently my ability to actually travel is uh, drastically limited. Let's get into Sweden, a good central location that can then spread out to the rest of Scandinavia. We are in Japan and stuff. That's all looking good. All right. Uh, ohayo kazaimas. I am a zombo. Gonna eat your brain now. What do we want? Uh, enhanced sensory integration could be pretty good. Sure, more severity. Hyper, uh, hyperosmia. Increasing severity again, maybe. Peptide surge, maybe. Perceptive jolt. I still want more infectivity, but I guess we don't really need it. We'll go for immaturity, I guess. Sure, we're gonna have very immature zombies, right? They just repeat everything you say back to them. Then they then they die from their immaturity. Then they become zombos. And then they follow you around going... La, 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 la. Right? There's Zcom. All right, we knew that was gonna happen here at some point. We could try sending some zombos up this way, but it's probably not gonna do me a lot of good unless I can start getting a heck of a lot more combat ability. Weapons creation for zombies would make a lot of sense. Zombies have successfully destroyed all of Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Let's go into the Baltic states and stuff. Just keep spreading around, never stop. Probably should go ahead and try getting into places like Iceland and Greenland. Just make sure that that all gets going. Acidic reflux. Combat advantages again. Mysticatory tension. Blah, blah, blah. Naja mortis. Mm-hmm. Increasing severity and combat advantages. All of this is good. All of it really is good. Um, we'll go for Naja mortis. I think severity increases the likelihood of the zombies, like, literally finding people and zombifying them. Could be wrong on that point, but I think that's how it's supposed to work. Can we get into places like New Guinea, since they have closed their borders unto me? Let's go into New Zealand as well. Just make sure that I don't miss any important countries. Of course, we do need to make sure we get into the Caribbean. And this is important before all the zombies die off in these countries, because then they can't go anywhere, and I have extremely limited range, and that would really suck. Like, badly, it would suck. Um, I don't really know if there's a lot of point in going for some of these resistances. I do think that reducing the decomposition of the corpse could be very useful right now. Because we want these zombies to stick around as much as we can. And then, yeah, I think we just focus on nothing but as many combat advantages as possible. How are we doing in Central Europe? Well, we're gaining more zombies than we're losing. So Zcom's not in the best of spots. That I can safely say. Let's continue expanding to its neighboring countries, so I'll be able to do more with that later. Acidic reflux, uh, we'll go from a sticatory tension that leads to autothesis, blah, blah, blah. I mean, all of this is pretty standard Akroa stuff. We're just making the zombies extremely dangerous. That's all we're trying to do. Um, let's go into Poland, let's go into Germany, just make sure all this is going, get a pretty large group ready to go. Now my question is, if we go for things like Trojan Plains, more zombies. So, despite the fact that it's supposed to be Trojan Plains and Rex Worms, what it really is is just the zombie horde, and the more you upgrade it, the larger the groups can be, right? Probably. Trojan Worm Roamers? Apparently, though, we do still get the ability to use this. Huh. It's interesting how these things are combined, isn't it? 
A little bit. Causes destructive and aggressive behavior. That actually could work really well with zombies. We'll go ahead and take that, and then yeah, let's just go ahead and launch some more into Central Europe. That's a lot of zombos! There we go! All right, ZCOM hopefully will not be long for this world. Let's send some more up in here to Russia. Just make sure that we're taking that out faster. Let's get up into Canada, make sure we spread a few more. Just trying to make sure that we hit critical mass in a few critical areas. Caribbean, Norway, and the Philippines, huh? Well, let's go ahead and send a few up that way, and then let's send a few up that way, and boom, every country should be getting infected. Now, granted, they're working on that cure a little bit faster than I would like. That's for sure. Uh, we could try to slow that down, but really, why? Let's go for some genetic mutation. Infectivity when corpses are present. I mean, there is a fair bit of that, sure. And then, yeah, let's go for as much mutation as possible and just start getting lots of freebies. Lots of freebies for my zombies just means dangerous ones. ZCOM grows stronger. Not gonna matter, though, because we've almost hit critical mass that destroys that entire ZCOM operation. There it goes. And now they're not gonna be able to spread to any other countries, which means... With the um, corpse transmission, we should have basically won the game already. Now it's just a matter of trying to speed this up with a bit more. Let's go for even further re uh, decay reduction. Let's go for some regenerative activation, just in case I find that I run out of zombies somehow. Uh, reanimated zombies get combat advantage, combat advantage, and even more can be reanimated. Probably don't need that. Think we'll be all right. So yeah, there's a handful of countries that are holding out on me, but they should not last. There's the hyperosmia. We have completely destroyed a lot of those countries that we traveled into, so that's already done and over with. Finland, for some reason, is holding out. Well, we'll just go ahead and do a little bit of a Russian invasion of Finland. You know, I'm sure that they are used to that at this point, right? It's probably fine. Yeah, I imagine it is. And we have destroyed humanity. There we go. Everyone's been zombified and or is already dead. Putrid Slayer! So, at the end of the day, does the Nurax Worm stuff really add much to the Necrovirus? Not, not really. What it does is it changes up some of your transmission vectors. And at the end of the day, Trojan Planes can already be done with the Necroa virus. So it changes a few things up. And it's kind of cool to see those two being combined. I'm actually surprised at how well they can combine, like, just from a coding and animation standpoint, and still works really good. But at the end of the day, you still play it the exact same way you would with a Necroa virus, and you just you just click and win. So I don't know. I think it's a fun scenario, though. At the end of the day, it took me 440 days, 59% cure progress, and 51,625 points to stars. Feel like we might have been able to go faster on that, but we still got through it a okay. I would, of course, give this one a thumbs up. Fun stuff! Well, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.